Who asked this Filipino boy to come back on the YouTube? Nobody. But you know what? I'm here. And I'm filming a YouTube video for you guys. I'm doing a get ready with me. It's me, Mark, if you've never watched me before. And if you've been watching me since the dawn of time, then hi guys. I'm sorry for taking a mad hiatus if you're still bothered about me doing videos. But um, yeah, get ready with me. A bunch of new different products and um, I hope that you enjoy the video. Mwah. Guys. Oh, this is so weird, but I'm filming. Guys, this is pretty wild, but I'm filming a YouTube video, which is bananas, because I've not done this in, like, a year. And obviously, I used to do, like, YouTube content, like, all the time. But I haven't done that because I haven't found it fulfilling, especially when, like, you put a lot of effort into videos and, like, and then it doesn't get received. And obviously YouTube is just in, like a different place now and I mean even me like I don't watch some of the YouTubers that I used to watch back then. A lot of YouTubers have stopped making videos in that kind of way. A lot of people have moved on to Instagram and TikTok and I have Instagram and TikTok by the way if you do want to follow me. And everyone's you know kind of moved on to like short form of content which that is what is going on at the minute. So um... I do make some videos on there if you do want to follow me. Today I'm going to film a get ready with me. So I'm just going to put my wig on and let me come back when I've got my wig situated. I'm not going to do a full on install you guys because um, I'm just doing this makeup for you guys. Um, and for my own satisfaction. So, yeah, it's short form content nowadays and that's what's going on. And that's absolutely fine, do you know what I mean? Like, that's just the, that's just the time that we live in now. Short form content is absolutely amazing. It's just, you know, I do miss, like, I do miss making, like, videos like this. I'm very rusty, you guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna use my Secure the Blur from One Size. I got this from Vegas. But, if you are in the UK, you can get One Size Beauty from Sephora. It's all online, so if you want to shade match yourself to anything, you probably wouldn't be able to. But, you can get One Size. You can get Tarte from Sephora UK now, so you can get that shipped over. Because basically, um, it got bought out, so what is it? Um, I'm going to colour correct with my... P.S. My Perfect Colour Foundation Stick in Honey. Basically, Feel Unique got bought out by Sephora. So, Feel Unique is now Sephora for the UK. And I do think that they are going to launch, like, Sephora stores in the UK. I don't think it will be till next year. And I think they're going to start out with London because they always start out that sort of stuff in London. Um... I'm just putting this foundation kind of where I need coverage, so like my beard area. But I'm not like putting it all across my face, I'm just putting it in certain areas. So, um, I don't know who's going to be watching, if many people will be watching at all, but this is basically my, not everyday makeup, because I don't wear makeup every day, but kind of like my go-to, you get me? Like, this is like... The makeup that, like, if I want to wear it, then this is, like, my go-to. Most of the time, I start off with my eyes, but today I'm going to start off with the base. So, I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Skin. I'm just going to use three pumps. And I'm using my Fenty Beauty 115 Foundation Brush to just apply that to the face before I blend it out with a beauty blender. Isn't it mad that like, so Beauty Blender is a brand of makeup sponges, but it doesn't really matter where the sponge is from, whether it's like Real Techniques or like any other brand, everybody always says Beauty Blender. But yeah, everyone calls it a Beauty Blender even if it's not from the brand. Yeah, once I apply that to the face, then I kind of pounce that in and blend that in with a little 
sponge, beauty blender. What is that noise? Can you hear that noise? It's a friggin... It's um... It's a ghost. I'm gonna contour first. I'm using the Patrick Ta She Sculpted Cream Contour and Powder Bronzer Duo. So what I like to do for cream contour is tap it into the skin. So I do it on top of the cheekbones, kind of where I would put blush and blend it up. And then for the jawline, I like to cut my jawline. So I don't go underneath it, I go on top of it, above it. Because I like to cut that bit down and slim it down and make it a little bit less masculine in that kind of way. I'm running on 26% battery, so yeah, let's see how quickly I can do this look. And then I do it under the lip because it kind of contours it a little bit. And a little bit on the forehead. And then I'm gonna go ahead with my Patrick Ta Double Take Cream and Powder Blush in She's a Doll. I really, really like Patrick Ta makeup. So that's the cream blush. And I'm just gonna tap that on. So like, I thought this was going to be more baby pink, but it's kind of like very Barbie pink, you know? So I'm applying that to the temples and to the apples of the cheeks. She's super, super pigmented. I'm going to go for a very blushy look today then. But yeah, I've been really, I really like orangey blushes and I really love pink. Baby, baby, baby pink as well. Brighter pinks. I used to be like into peachy colours. But for the past like year, two years, I've been really into the pinks to be quite honest with you. Especially ever since the whole kind of um, Kylie Jenner baby pink trend. I'm using my Too Faced Born This Way in Vanilla. So I apply that right there into the inner corner and then a little bit onto the outer, just like that. A little bit on my chin, do a little line there and my forehead. Like I'm really into Patrick Tarr at the minute and Patrick Star. You know, Asian, Asians now have to create makeup. See, with the base, you just gotta get it right, you know what I mean? And then, so like basically, with the concealer, you want to bring it right into the side of the nose to kind of contour it. So just a little bit under the eyes, I'm going to put a little bit of Made By Mitchell in Milk Mix. It's the white one. Just to kind of brighten up that end corner a little bit more. So I either use like a lighter concealer or a complete white. I also like the Sephora one, that one's quite nice. Just to make that super, super bright. Stunning. I'm gonna be using Vice Cosmetics Duo Finish Foundation in Shade Me Vice, which is Vice Gandas um, makeup brand from the Philippines. I got this when I went to the Philippines back in April. And I'm just gonna use a powder puff and set under the eyes. I'm gonna set the face with this. And then for loose powder, I'm gonna be using One Size Beauty in Translucent. This is the, yeah, I think it's just the setting powder. Is that, what is, is that what it's called? The One Size Ultimate Setting Powder in Translucent. So I like to pop it onto my hand and then I put the puff in there and then I pop it into the skin. 
I don't really bake all that much. I just kind of situate and set. We'll bring back the glow later on. Do you know what I mean? I just want that to be nice and set. So basically with the Patrick Ta duos, like you've got the cream at the top and then you've got the powder. So I'm just going to be using the bottom shades to contour and to blush. So what I don't do is, because I like to feminize my face, I don't contour my temples at all. Because what that does is that that sunks it in, that sinks that kind of area in, and I don't really want that. I want to look more feminine and round when I put my makeup on, so it's up to you. My makeup is very like cross dresser fish, and I want to look pussy. Like, that's my face, like pussy face, like just like feminine. That's what I like to do. This is the Morphe M164. And I'm going to chisel out my nose with this. I should have cream contoured if I'm honest, but we're here now and I can't go back. And then right at the bottom, just pop a shadow just here. When it comes to the contour and the blush, I don't set it with the pressed powder or the loose powder I use the actual blush so that it catches the colour. That's the kind of like the whole point of the cream contour and cream blush is that you set it with a corresponding powder um, colour. So this is really a clever little product. And sometimes I like to go over like these kind of areas, the chin, above the lip, just to bring in a little bit more colour in that because I don't want that looking grey. And I don't want my five o'clock shadow to like peek through. Okay, so the eyebrows were a little bit of a mess. I'm gonna be honest. So we kind of just kind of like skipped over that part. Because it was a little bit of a disaster. That's why I usually start off with my brows and my eyes first. But we're here. I'm just using a little bit of concealer just to carve out the brows. drag it down to the lid to kind of prime it. I don't really do too many crazy eyeshadow looks. I mostly do a nude because, I mean, who doesn't love just like a nude? I'm gonna use the Carnival, the Antidote by Be Perfect. And the first shade that I'm gonna use is this Dove color, which is this bony, bony yellowy color. I'm gonna set the lid with that. I just find that everything blends a lot easier with that as a base. And then I'm gonna be using Buff, which is actually right next to Dove. It's this like medium brown color with orangey-ish tone, so it's kind of warm. And I'm putting that all across the crease. I've got 13% on my camera. So let's see how quickly I can do this and applying that right onto the inner and outer corner. This is just kind of like a background colour really. After you won't really be able to see this as much. I'm actually going to go straight in with my 17 Ink Legend Tattoo Eyeliner, which is limited edition, but they should make this permanent because it's such a gorge colour. This is in dark brown. I love a brown eyeliner. One sweep. So the point of my eyes is very like just winged out and smoky. So I'm gonna smoke this liner out in a little bit. So I'm gonna use chestnut, which is this brown color from the palette. And I'm going to be smudging out that eyeliner on the outer corner. But I'm also going to be taking that colour mixed in with the buff, the chestnut and the buff together. So that I kind of bring it into the lid a little bit. That's stunning. 
For mascara, one of my favourite brands has always been Fenty Beauty. So I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty Full Frontal Mascara. I've got 8% on my camera. I'm actually going to use a black pencil on my waterline. This is the Alamasca Colouring Pencil in Sophie. But for eyelashes, I'm sorry, how cute is this eyelash case? I've never seen an eyelash case like this. Basically, this TikToker called Amina Roche released these What She Wore eyelashes and I'm obsessed with her. I'm obsessed with her like styling videos and stuff. And these lashes, you'll see when I put them on, they've got like white tips. And I'm just absolutely obsessed with her. So I thought to like support and buy the lashes and they're actually sick. Like I'm gonna pop these on for you now. You see this white tip? Honestly, it's fire. It is fire. So definitely gonna have to order more. Um, I've worn these already and I'm in love. Actually, because I wanted to feature these lashes and show support. I'm gonna pop these on and come back. So lashes are on. Do you see how beautiful these eyelashes are. I love it. It's very different for me, do you know what I mean? And I never thought I'd like like white tips on my eyelashes, but they look sick. They really do. I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty Mesmerize Liquid Luminizer for a liquid highlight. Just a dot. There and there. And just a little bit here at the bridge and one at the tip of the nose to blend do you see that selena 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 you ate this up for liquid highlight i kind of like to keep it pretty much in the same space and just kind of blend it in a little circle like that so that like i'm at and then just do it at that spot. Do you know what? I'm not even going to set that. I think that's pretty nice. Like that. So I'm not going to set it. For my lip liner, I'm going to be using my Kylie True Brown K. This is an OG. So the thing is with my lips, I like them super, super pointed. And like two hills, two peaks. Kind of like Mulan. And round at the bottom. So I like my cupid's bow proper pronounced. Sometimes I just do the rounded thing, you know, like overdraw, like how everybody else does. That's when I can't be bothered because it doesn't take that much effort. But I like to take my time with my lips and like make them look proper like Russian lips, you know, like with filler. So what I like to do, so what I like to do is draw like a M shape and then I'm going to go straight down, straight, not a curved line, but a straight line and it will look like I've got a moustache on because this is really dark brown. You see that? You see that? It's super straight down. So I only overdraw at the peak of my cupid's bow. You see how it kind of perks up at the top? See, that's how I like my lips to look. <laughs> and at the bottom, I just pretty much like draw the shape. And then I draw, fill in the outer corner. Super like intense. And then I'm gonna use the Max Factor Color Elixir Cushion in Spotlight Sheer number five. This is like a color and a glass together. That 
that is stunning. So with the um, brown liner again, I like to draw on my beauty marks. So one here at the top lip. Here. These kind of change as the wind. It depends on my mood, where my beauty marks go. And then to make my face dewy again, I'm gonna be using the 17 Dewy Setting Spray. So I take my clips off. So guys, this is the finished Get Ready With Me. My eyes are super massive with these eyelashes on. And yeah, it's so nice to be back filming. I really enjoyed that, apart from the fact that I didn't um, charge the battery of this camera. So it's currently on, it's currently on 3%. Um, but that was it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, let's see if I <laughs> upload more YouTube videos. Bye, guys.